Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it is good to be back. And I see that EA Sports has changed some things in the past couple of days that we have been taking a quick rest, a quick break from the YouTube video. So I appreciate your guys' patience there. But we have a little market crash situation here where EA Sports has put a pack in the store that is tradable, that is a very tempting gamble for a lot of people. And that, of course, is making prices drop because this is bringing a lot of supply to the game. This out of position essentials pack is what really crashed the market yesterday on Saturday. I wanna take a look and talk through why some prices went down as much as they did, but also how with this supply, it's making some prices look really tasty for a potential investment headed into this week because the content looks pretty good in this out of position promo. So we're gonna talk all about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Like I said with this market crash, I made some coins yesterday and then the market crash made me lose some coins. I bought Teo for like 430, sold them for 46. I bought a lot of these Toure's for about 19K, sold some for 27, had to get a couple out before he dropped even lower. And I ended up losing coins in total because I bought Salai at 144, should have sold them for 1.6. I thought yesterday on Saturday was gonna be a quiet content day, but instead it was a market madness and I, I had to sell Salah for a bit of a loss. So. I'm losing coins right with you guys, but let's talk about why in the world this market is crashing. We looked at that pack in the store, right? I wanna show you some prices because I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these prices dropping off, but let's talk through why, right? Well, of course, it was a lot of supply yesterday, right? That pack that was added to the code and dropped into the store, usually those are untradeable, right? I went back and looked at the pack code. You can see here, out of position essentials pack, I, I think I would have completely noticed this if we were on and active when all this stuff was being added to the code uh, last couple days ago. Uh, but I completely missed this pack code and only saw it when I went back and looked at it. Uh, and it doesn't say untradeable, right? And the big key for a lot of these, like they've been doing this recently where they release these like promo named packs, like the essentials or the foundations packs. And usually they're untradeable, but this time it wasn't. And of course, a pack of that caliber, when you go in the store and you take a look at the pack percentages in here, the reason why people are opening this is because they're like, oh man, I have a, I think it's like a 14% chance if the store would ever load uh, and I could get in here and here we go. I, th I think it's like a 14% chance. 14% chance of a out of position player, 30% chance of a team of the week. So that's like, hey, for 1500 FIFA points, Maybe it's a gamble that I'm interested in. I think that's cheaper than a normal 100K pack because I believe a normal 100K pack is 2,000 FIFA points. I could be incorrect there, but I don't open a lot of packs with FIFA points. So, you know, 1,500 FIFA points, people might be willing to sort of gamble on that or just 100,000 coins. And I mean, people did gamble on it because Messi's under 200,000 coins. I mean, look at this drop off. Anything that was in packs yesterday kind of got hit. 216 Messi all the way down to 187. He's 184 right now. Some of your bigger drops are on like the middle to lower tier cards. Rudiger 68K, De Bruyne 99,000 coins, especially the stuff that was in packs got hit a lot in price as well. But like Conte, 89,000 coins, even stuff that's out of packs, like Gold Salah, 178K. With the whole market dropping down, he dropped in price as well. But most of the stuff that you saw dropping yesterday was the cards that were in packs. I mean, one of the most popular players in this promo, Ivan Perisic, right? Absolutely insane card. Yesterday, going from 160K at content time, he was about 140. He went all the way down to 90 thousand coins now back up to 105 so you've seen a big market crash because of the supply right and especially for what happened yesterday on the game it was all about the supply now you've seen a slight bounce back as well right because you have people that are panic selling on top of that supply because they see the prices dropping down so low so you have a little bit of that going on there too uh, but then you just you always get a bit of a, a natural bounce back right where prices just get a little bit too low and you see prices bounce back a little bit now is there an opportunity for these cards to rise back up a lot today? I'm not expecting a ton of big rises today on Sunday. Usually Sundays aren't days where the market does extremely well, but I do think there's a few cards in here that people may want to try out that you've already seen bounce back a little bit that could potentially go a little further. I would just be looking for cards that have, you know, like, like this right here. Fred was down to 160 
bounced back up to 177 and is now back down to 160,000 coins on the market. Now, of course, you have to be careful because some of these guys will get packed today from squad battle rewards. It'll bring a little bit of supply to the market. Not a lot, but just enough to maybe think about it for a second or two. Fred at 160 looks like that might be a little bit of an undercut. But again, like I said, seeing that he already went back to 177, this for me, and you can see there's not very many cards to 170 in general, Picking this up right now at 160k might actually be kind of a move, right? If there's another one that pops up, or maybe if I can snag one on bid here before, um, I'll, I'll bid at 158. But, you know, it might be a decent idea to pick one of these up heading into today on Sunday for a quick flip, mind you. Again, it would be a pretty quick flip is what you want to do. Gold cards, man, I got to be honest with you guys. Gold cards... We're just getting to that stage of the game that, you know, even we saw gold card prices dropping a lot on Friday, right? I mean, you take a look at some of the gold cards, like we're mentioning here with Rudiger being 67,000 coins. If we go take a look at Rudiger's card, even before we had the supply that we had yesterday on Saturday, if you take a look at Friday with the supply and panic selling, Rudiger was 96K. He went down to 80,000 coins, so he was already down a lot from where he was to start the, the, the weekend, and now he's down at 67,000 coins. So it's just at this stage of the game where golds are going to continue to drop because every single week we have more and more special cards that are put into packs that people are... Um, you know, replacing in their teams more and more objective cards that people are using instead of golds. And of course, golds, again, golds are literally designed in FIFA to get worked out of our team. They're literally designed to not be in our team for forever because EA wants us to upgrade. And I mean, we want to upgrade too, right? We want to get the better ultimate team with the better players and stuff like that. So it makes sense why these gold cards continue to drop off. But that's probably just going to be a trend unless you're you know, trading with these guys in the short term, there could be a couple golds that rise back a little bit today. I'd just be very, very careful with which golds you're trying to trade with there and which ones you're trying to make coins off of. Make sure they're super rare uh, or, or more high rated and more meta cards like KDB would be one that I would recommend trying to trade with. He was down at 93, went back up to 99. If you can get him at like 95, I think that's solid. So I think there's some potential to quick flip a few of these cards. I think this supply has also created a really, really good opportunity to buy Team of the Week cards for pretty cheap. Uh, Mbappe, 2.2 million coins. I'm going to be completely honest. This this card, I think he was actually at 2.19, uh, 2.206, 2.182. That's really, really low. Like that is... That is really, really low for an Mbappe in form who, whose gold card, I mean, guys, this guy's gold card is only like 700k cheaper. 2.2 million coins flat for this Mbappe in form, I think is a pretty solid price in the grand scheme of things. Um, I mean, all things considered, it is a plus one only, but you know, you do get to that 90 shooting and uh, 98 pace gets you that much closer to 99 and you get a pretty sweet dynamic image. So I completely agree with this Mbappe being a little bit underpriced. I'm not going to say it's crazily underpriced, uh, but that's, you know, a decent value there. Watch out for Usman Dembele as well. I mean, this whole supply on the market has really brought his price down, I think, like 27, 265. Yeah, if I got that snipe, I would take that because I think what this supply has done too is it's made your team of the week cards get supplied a little bit extra and it's made their player prices drop pretty low. So here's what I would say about the market. If you're looking to buy cards for your team, if you're looking to kind of feel like, Nate, what's the market vibe over the next couple of days? Usually when we have big supply days like this, I, I'm not expecting a big day of content today on Sunday that's going to push these prices way, way lower unless EA is trying to go all out and make this promo go crazy and really try to make the market burn, let's be honest. So I would look for some low prices tonight on Sunday. I don't think there's going to be a huge movement today, but I do expect if it's a slow day that we will see a nice rise into Monday like we normally do. So you might have a couple small rises today into Sunday, but then really watch as people finish their weekend leagues because, of course, a lot of people are playing this weekend. Watch late tonight on Sunday night for some potential to flip cards that are in packs, cards that are out of packs, and gold that are super meta and stuff like that. I think you'll have some good fluctuations on the market heading into Monday. Now, there is one part of the market right now that I'm a big fan of, and I think you want to take advantage of this sooner rather than later, and it is SBC fodder because we have pretty low prices again 
on a lot of these fodder cards. And again, with a week upcoming with potential SBCs, who knows what we're going to get on Monday, right? We have the hero pack in the code with the base icon pack in the code. They could re-release the 87 max hero pack or the 86 base icon. Who knows? I think that fodder is a incredible, incredible club stock or investment at the moment. Again, patience is what is key here, but you can see, right? Muldrich was 24,000 coins. He went down to 20K. I bet you were able to get some of these guys on crazy low bids. So I would look at a good opportunity again today on Sunday as a, a great opportunity to invest in some of this fodder. 84s look good. 85s, 86s, 87s, basically everything from 83s to 91s, in my opinion, look pretty good. Benzema was down to like, I think 41K. Was he 41 43,000 coins, never down to 41K. But I think these 91 rated cards look really, really good. Those are pretty cheap for the rating that they give out. If they have any higher rated SBC requirements in the next coming, let's say days, uh, maybe week or so, I think that the higher rated, I like 91s. I think my two favorite ratings of fodder this year so far in the game are 91s and 88s, with third place being 85s, because with EA and that Team of the Week pack SBC they put out, uh, you know, it required 85s one week, so those went crazy high, but any, anywhere between 83 and 91, I think, is a really good club stock um, for this week. I would expect another type of SBC that would supply that would require some fodder. Uh, I do believe we might even have a La Liga Player of the Month. When does Valverde's SBC expire? Three days. I think we're going to have either another Valverde or a Lewandowski Player of the Month coming at some point in the next week, and that would be a potentially big name player that people would want to do as a player SBC, but really, you guys know what moves the market are those upgrade pack SBCs. So I think that fodder right now, let me go snag a, uh, it's crazy that I'm now buying Benzema for fodder, right? When this guy was like a card that I used to trade with for, uh, you know, a meta card in the game. So he's like meta and also fodder. That's just like a double buy right there. So, you know, I'm going to do a bit of a club stock on some of the fodder, probably drop a couple hundred thousand coins and get a few of these cards. Not going to go crazy with it again. Like you're not going to see me here going buying tons and tons and tons of these. I'm just going to pick one up, put it in the club. That's how I do a fodder investment. Sell when it goes up later, right? Again, patience is key with fodder. You guys know that. Wait for the SBCs to drop and wait for this stuff to go a little higher. But I think fodder is a really good buy at the moment and a good club stock for sure for what could be coming in the coming days. So that's kind of what I'm seeing right now in the market. Also, what I'd say is if you're trying to trade, if you're trying to trade right now, you're like, Nate, I don't want to buy anything that's impacts. I want to be very risk-free with this. What I would tell you to do is look on the market for icons and heroes because with the whole market being devalued and with uh, with what's going on with the cards and packs and the gold cards and stuff like that, you're seeing some pretty big fluctuations in these rule breaker cards. Ramos and some of these guys are up a little bit, but you can absolutely see that there was panic and some of these prices dropped yesterday. Of course, they're not in packs, right? But Kai Havertz went from 330 down to 315. So he's down only 15,000 coins. But, you know, if you find drops on the market for out of packs cards that are big enough, you can absolutely make some coins on a lot of these players. Now, I will say right now, you guys know this, the Serie A is being pushed big time content wise because specifically this Chiesa SBC that was released, it just seems like we have some Serie A content being pushed towards us right now. So watch out for your Serie A special cards. I know a lot of those like Jekko and Bonucci are already rising in price, but keep an eye on some of those cards. And of course, your hero cards, especially your Serie A hero cards, they're they're into more demand, right? Cordoba is 375,000 coins. Look at his graph recently, just skyrocketing because these heroes provide such needed chemistry links. He didn't even drop at all yesterday. He's 374. He even peaked at 398. Like this is the card that I'd be looking to trade with because if I see this guy and knowing that he can hit 390,000 coins like two different times in a day, if this goes down to like below... 370, 375, like, yeah, I'm going to be interested because, yeah, about, what, 20K of tax. So if I get a 360 on this card, I know that I can sell it for, like, 390 or maybe even if he goes a bit higher with more Serie A hype, inching close to 400K, maybe tomorrow after weekend league rewards. That's the kind of stuff on the market you want to be tra trading with, which is what is in demand but also what is not in supply that much, right? Low supply, high demand is very, very good for trading in a market as 
we are currently in. So that's kind of an update on what's going on with the market right now and with the movement and prices and a little bit of the crashes and stuff that's going on. Just be careful with your flips. Um, but I don't think that stuff goes crazy lower unless EA come out and do something crazy again, guys. Like really, it's always in EA's hands. But uh, that pack yesterday, I really was not expecting it to be tradable. But stuff like this happens all the time on the market. And that's why uh, this market is so volatile because even though we have leaks and stuff, some stuff like this, you just never know when it's going to happen. And, and we see big price drops like we did yesterday. So let's talk about today on Sunday, though. That's a lot of market talk. Let's talk about today's content because I think there's some interesting things in store for us today as well, including uh, potentially another player SBC, right? On the weekends, EA is really consistent with the player SBCs. Yesterday, we had the Ross Barkley player pick, which... Before we go into this Gary Medell card, which I think is coming today, the Ross Barkley situation is interesting. You can argue that Chiesa is the best value out of position SBC we've had so far. 135,000 coins, a lot of thumbs up. I understand why. Great position changes, explosive, four-star, four-star, very craftable with upgrade packs, hopefully coming out tomorrow on Monday. W, Ross Barkley interesting card right two different versions player pick control you can make him lengthy with an architect uh it's craftable as well but again it's just kind of middle of the road very interesting links there too but that's not bad value right and i think that ea could continue with the solid value content today with this gary Medell flashback sbc which again pushes the syria agenda just a little bit more uh, if these are the stats, then it shouldn't be too expensive, but if it's better stats than this, then who knows? Uh, that could be a very nice card. Obviously, it makes you think of the Arnautovic, um, and I forget the other guy's name, Dorsch, the center back that were released recently from the same club. Nice links there. Nice Serie A center defensive mid for sure for, a, for your team. Again, the links aren't the greatest besides Serie A and to those other cards, but uh, if it's cheap, People will end up doing this. So that's what I would maybe expect for a piece of content today on Sunday. Also, mini release time, right? And the three cards we are getting today, I believe it's three. Uh, Jabril So as a right back. So some Bundesliga hype there. I do believe we are going to get Lucas Vasquez, Hamari Traore, and Berardi. Is Lucas Vasquez already in packs and I've completely skipped over his card? Or are we actually getting four? I clicked on the wrong team. Uh, Lucas Vasquez is not in packs. All right, so we have four mini release cards coming today. Vasquez, So, Berardi, and Hamari Traore. Hamari Traore as a CDM looks really interesting. 90 pace as a CDM card would be very, very interesting. So watch out for that card today. Of course, Berardi with the Serie A hype. So I think it's mini release players today. I think it could be that Gary Medell flashback SBC. Um, other than that, I'm not super thinking that we're going to get anything really crazy. One thing I will mention is for today's content on Sunday, the clocks changed uh, in the UK. So for you guys that are not in the UK, your content drop time might be a little bit different. I think it might be an hour later because the UK is falling back. So I believe for me, it's going to end up making content at 2 p.m. Eastern instead of 1 p.m. Eastern because the gap is basically lessening. Since they're falling back, we're becoming closer to their time. So I think it's going to make it 2 p.m. Eastern time for us in the Eastern time zone of the US. I'm sure that's, you know, not everybody is watching the video from that time zone, but just kind of take that into account wherever you're tuning in from and wherever you're, um, playing FIFA today, that the content drop time might be a little bit different because EA stick on with 6 p.m. UK. Wow, these Freds are going to listen at 158, man. I'm missing the undercuts. This is a bummer because uh, he's like literally 10K undercuts each time. Um, all I would say is just do the math, whatever it is for you. But content might be a bit different today because of that time change. Uh, but yeah, really, I, I'm not expecting too much. Um, I missed out on Weekend League this weekend and I'm very disappointed um, unless you can still play and, and still get into weekend league at any time. I'm pretty sure it's, there's a cutoff for that, or maybe there's not. Let me know in the comments if I can actually still play weekend league, but I didn't, I'm not qualified yet. Um, so yeah, champs finals ends in one day, five hours. So I don't know if I can still qualify. Maybe if I will, I'll try to speed run it just because red Mbappe, red them booze. It's kind of worth the shot and the packs with all the players that are in packs right now. Uh, very, very interesting uh, to say the least. So, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking for and watching out for right now in the market. I did buy a couple out of packs cards that I still have. I bought two Lucas Paqueta at 168 and he went up very nicely 
Uh, but of course, he ended up going down yesterday with how the market did. So that's a bit unfortunate. And I was looking to snag his card, uh, snag some profit on his card. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to do that. So I might look into some golds today. You see me looking at this Fred just because I feel like Fred has the potential to go back up to like 170K. GGMU, Brazil links, just a fun. Again, that's how I feel like this promo is. I mean, I, I maybe in the comments as well below, drop some thoughts on how you think this promo is. I love that the Parasitch card is getting so much hype because I think that's a really, really good item. I just think that there's, with this promo, it's all like, it's, it's either you hit big or you miss big for EA, right? I mean, like the Teo Hernandez, I think is not really that hype for a lot of people because they see the card and they're like, man, where do I play this guy? But then for the Perisic, it looks sick. For the Isak Torre, it looks cool. Cancelo, Fofana look nuts. Dumfries looks insane. But then for some of these other guys, it's like, hmm. Did EA miss the mark here with a couple of these position changes? But again, it still feels like a very fun promo to me, and I have nothing against fun. So GG's the EA Sports. But hopefully the good value content keeps coming. Again, like I said, the SBC so far have been decent. Hopefully they keep that train rolling and that we can have a nice week upcoming of out of positions. I'm definitely interested in some upgrade packs this week. Um, and uh, oh yeah, 160 for Fred. All right, bang, we can finally get one. I'm just gonna pick up a couple of these. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. Again, I'm gonna spread the wealth and spread my coins out to try to make some coins today on a Sunday in FIFA 23. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan for the count, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.